Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to All Things Africa. If it's your first time here, my name is Dolphin254, Karibu Sana. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Oh, let me just say, Arwako Ahenya. I'm here in Kendo Bay and this is their native language, Arwako Ahenya, meaning welcome welcome so much welcome back to this channel so today's video i'm in kendo bay i know the image that most people have when they hear this name given that uh kendo bay recently was trending in most of the kenyan media houses uh, social media about uh, the place being an ancient town without a bank but today i'm here to change the narrative i'm here to show the whole world that kendo bay has more than what you see on social media so in today's episode i'll be taking you to a very mysterious lake here in kindu bay it's actually a travel destination for anyone who is traveling to kenya yeah this is a must visit place here in western part of kenya so i'll be taking you to none other than lake simbi nyaima are you ready guys but before i continue i know maybe there's someone here who don't know kendo bay kendo bay is an old town here in kenya it's an ancient town in western part of kenya rachonyo north district in homa bay county this is a place to be a travel destination so stay tuned i'll be taking you around uh, the village it's actually my african village i'll be taking you around to see the beauty of africa to see how kindu bay has much so stay tuned guys i hope this video is going to be so interesting make sure you watch it to the end and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing okay subscribe support me by subscribing watching this video to the end and don't forget to share it with your friends and give it a very big thumbs up so stay tuned and let's do it as you can see i'm now on my way to the lake follow me to the lake this is a very unique place in my village it's very unique and it's a mysterious lake i'll share with you later in this video why i call this lake mysterious so follow me i think you can see the beautiful view of the lake and uh, the lake also has flamingos wow this is so amazing so follow me i'll be walking you around i want to try to at least go all around the lake i'm not sure if i'll manage because it's quite a distance but i'm going to try so follow me guys follow me guys there are so many reasons why we call this lake a mysterious lake like uh, the locals in my village believe that this lake was created as a result of superstition like they believe this is just a village that sank and on the other side the geologists believe that this lake was formed as a result of volcanic eruption they believe this is a crater lake so stay tuned guys i want you to see for yourself how beautiful this lake is and it's located just a few kilometers from kindu bay town which is along katito homa bay road so stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> Imagine this lake is just a sleeping lion here in my village. Even the local government is doing nothing. Like nothing. They are not even investing this lake. So I'm officially inviting all the investors who can come here to invest. I think you can invest in tourism 
this place is a very good place for tourism investment so i'm officially inviting investors and please guys make sure you share this video i want this video to reach the local government this is homer bay county i want this video to reach the local government they need to do something yeah this place can even create job opportunities to the locals and it can even earn revenues to the local government so i think you'll help me share this video so keep watching so you can see where this kid is we can't follow there right ahead straight so i'm going to take this other route and uh yeah we are going to just follow behind this small bush and we'll come back there so let's go let's go <laughs> So as you can see we've just reached uh, the other side of the lake we've just passed the like, small bush so I'm going to hook you with someone who is going to tell you all you need to know about this lake this is a mysterious lake with different stories of its origin and uh, also the water from this lake is used in so many ways that uh, the guy is going to tell you so i happened to have an interview with him he's so conversant of the lake everything you need to know he's going to share with you so stay tuned as i hook you up with this guy hi guys i'm here with my friend you'll just introduce yourself and tell us more about simbi nyaima we've been hearing about the lake so i just want to share with my friends how the lake originated or its origin so i think you'll just tell them something small about the lake first mm -hmm. one of the local of the okay the the east Mm -hmm. We have got the medical aspect of it, mm -hmm. and also the geographical aspect of it. Okay. Just like when you toast a coin, mm -hmm. you love to blow with any side of the coin. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. This one was a village. A village, okay. Now this place you are seeing before you being filled up with water. Mm -hmm. So you mean people used to stay here? People used to stay here. Uh -huh. It was a village uh -huh. that was built and upfilled. Okay. The residents were well known as Kawaswa people. Mm -hmm. Ka? Kawaswa. Kawaswa, wow. Uh -huh. As for the East indicates, uh -huh. East indicates that there was an old woman uh -huh. who originates from Gwase. Gwase. Gwase Nyandiri. There was this gentleman known as Nyamgondo, the son of Umbari. Mm. I don't know whether you have heard the history of Nyamgondo, the son of Umbari. I think I've read it somewhere. Yes, Nyamgondo, mm. the son of Umbari. Mm. How the gentleman used to be earning his daily bread, mm. he was just a mere fisherman. Oh, okay. So one of those fine days when he goes fishing, mm -hmm. he never caught fish. Mm. But as per the doctrines of old times, mm. was that when you missed a fish, mm. you were to leave your fishing materials into the lake, mm -hmm. such that you set a trap, mm. then probably you could go to confirm mm. if at all you had been blessed. Oh, okay. Now when you to the son of Umbari, mm. as he was going to confirm, mm. along the Piparat reeds, mm. the gentleman found a normal human being, a lady. 
uh -huh. whom looked quite tired. Uh -huh. The lady told him that, please, uh -huh. I'd really suffered a lot. Uh -huh. Don't leave me here. Uh -huh. Nyamgondo was really shocked, mm -hmm. but later on he was convinced. And that was when and where mm. he took the lady with him mm. to his locality. Okay. And he named the lady Anyango Nyarguase. Okay. So they started staying like a husband and a wife. Uh, with the Anyango? With the Anyango. Uh -huh. The gentleman could be going fishing uh. and the return they were getting after sales. Uh. They were now buying these domestic animals. Uh. To which the lady uh. was now the one responsible for taking good care of these domestic animals. Okay. Being that the lady was fixed from the lake, mm. the lady was a brilliant woman. Yeah. She told the husband that with us also the little salary we shall be getting, let us also buy these domestic animals. Mm. So which the lady was now the one responsible mm. for taking good care of these domestic animals. Uh -huh. Being that the lady was fixed from the lake, mm. she was a blessed woman. Yeah. The domestic animals she was taking good care of, mm. now while giving back, mm. will be giving back to twins. Twins. <laughs> that the entire homestead became full with the domestic animals. Oh, okay. The gentleman, while seeing how much wealthier he was, mm. he started to despise the lady. Oh, the so lady the who? Was, the lady was barren. Oh, yeah. The lady was not giving back. Mm. The gentleman could come back while drunk, mm -hmm. abusing the leg. Mm. That is just a creature whom I fished from the leg. Uh. There is nothing you are assisting me with. Oh, because she was not giving birth. Back where you came from. Mm. The lady persevered all these abuses mm. until it reached a moment. Mm. She said that enough is enough. 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 Huh? I made him back where I came from. Mm -hmm. What was surprising was that mm. as the lady was heading back, mm. all the domestic animals started following her. Oh. Watch the lake. Mm. Nyamgundo, mm. realizing that things were now in a mess, mm. he was trying to follow the lady. Mm. Such that she could come back, then they have a dialogue. Yeah. But all were in vain. Mm. The gentleman, mm. while looking along the vision, mm. the gentleman turned and a tree. Okay. Wondering how well had left him. Uh. If he today, right now, if he goes to work with you will find a tree resembling a human being mm. and the footprints of the domestic animal. Oh, okay. That was when the lady took two days to the lake. Mm. Then she resurfaced from a or to a place known as Abundu Hot Springs in West Karatuanya. Oh, okay. Mamas. Abundu. Yeah, 21 kilometers yeah. from here. Mm. Oh. And that was when the lady walked and took the long journey, mm. brought her and filled with village now. Yeah. The place now you are seeing before you being filled up with water. Mm. As I've said before, mm. this one used to be a village. Yeah. As for the history indicates, mm. history indicates that the lady approached this locality back in the year 1715, uh -huh. in the month of August. Mm. It was when the residents who were residing over here, mm. they were kind of having a celebration due to mm. the kind of bump harvest they had received mm. in that month. Mm. So harvesting, due to the presence of this woman. Yeah. Uh. So harvesting would normally be accompanied with mm. old was there, mm. seated around to their sons, teaching their sons domestic affairs, mm -hmm. how to steal the wives. Yeah. While women were not allowed to be part of men during those old times. Mm -hmm. So when they spotted this old mama, mm. she was trying to chase her away. Mm. Simply because she was a, she was a stranger mm. and even the dressing code was not using the residence. Uh. Being all that distance the lady had walked, mm. the lady was feeling very much thirsty. Yeah. That very first house, she mm. knocked and to even request for a glass of water, mm. she was not welcome. Oh, so... Mm -hmm. She only finds favor mm. in the second house, mm. whereby when she requested for water, mm. that mama did as for the doctrines of all the times. Yeah. Oh, I can pay a uji. Then later on, given water. Mm. Seeing all that cordiality mm. she had been given, yeah. she asked the woman that had seen her as a hearted woman, mm -hmm. Uh. And that was when the lady cast the villain. Uh. 
it started raining and raining and a very heavy downpour uh. until the old village got sunk. Oh, so this is the village that got sunk, got sunk. Simbi Nyaima. Simbi was wow. the general name, uh. collective of the first houses for the first sons. Uh. But Nyaima means the sunk and village. Uh. But those who are learned, mm. because with us we never went to school. Ah, but you, I can see you are really learned. Eh? So, this one is a crater lake. It's a crater lake. Found as a result of volcanicity. Uh -huh. There was an, a volcanic eruption over here. Uh -huh. Basic eruption, but not an acidic eruption. Oh. And that's why even the depth of the lake, uh -huh. until to date, uh -huh. nobody knows the depth of this lake because it's a, it's a concave shape like Oh. You hear that? Uh -huh. So, so they don't know how deep the lake is. A white man, a very determined guy. Uh -huh. They have tried and they have tried, but they have been defeated. Uh -huh. They even came up with the trees. If at all there is any creature that can survive until this lake, mm. many things. I've seen survive. the water is so salty. Yeah, it, water. Yeah, that one is a very good thing. Mm. In in fact, medicine. I'm feeling my face is really fresh. <laughs> Yo, it's a medicine. It's a cure for skin diseases like rashes, huh? pimples, machines, yes, yes. mm. food to diseases. Oh. Religious yeah. people uh. are also using this water. Anybody. It's a holy uh. water. Oh. Because with them they believe that the woman who must get from this village uh. was Mary, the grandmother of Jesus. Mary, really? <laughs> you know, I've just been hearing of Lake Simbi, Simbi mm. Nyaima. So today yeah, I had yeah. to give it a visit yeah. and at least yeah. see it for myself. So and I'm so glad I got you mm -hmm. and you've really told me a lot of things about the lake, Thank which you. I'm so grateful about. Thank you so much, welcome. Mm. We have got also the economic importance. It's a tourist attraction site. Yeah. Based in Mobile County. Uh. Secondly, we are doing what we call lot and dust mining. Uh. That is this mineral, sodium bicarbonate. Uh. Normally being excavated at the banks of the of the lake. Yeah, the I think the they bala. call it bala, Magadi. yeah. Uh, Magadi. Being used in cooking this local veggies. <laughs>